We are seven days away from Q2 earnings for Virgin Galactic. And after you subscribed and like this video, make sure that we getting this video to 400 likes, guys. Okay, this is the only thing that I'm asking for. And we are talking about so many things, okay, today. In this video, we are reviewing what could be the potential information in the Q2 earnings and earnings call and we are looking through the old presentation of the last quarter. We will look into the flight program. We are looking into the stock offering that was done. We are looking into the point to point travel and we will look into the revenue this time. Yes, Virgin Galactic will give us some revenue. So without further ado, let's dive in. Go to the Virgin Galactic investor relation page. Then you can go here and see all the remaining or actually the two remaining uh, the last earnings presentations. I said to you already that they made a very, very nice uh, improvement of the design and the structure of the earnings presentation, but it's pretty much always the same. Okay, so first they come some disclosures, but then uh, there is some, uh, let's say, strategic developments. Okay, they, they, are, they are using this presentation also to guide through the earnings call. So, you know, they uh, talk about here what they are focused on right now. Hope that they will also soon release how the customer experience will be because they said in the last earnings call, they said uh, shortly around the flight of Richard Branson, they will fully open the sales. Plus, they will also show how the experience will look like for the Virgin Galactic customers. Okay, so I hope that this will uh, happen soon. They are uh, talking here a little bit about the, uh, you know, what we will talk a little bit later as well, the revenue opportunities with governmental opportunities with governmental uh, clients. Uh, they talked about the problems with the spaceship that they fix everything, then they will have a flight test program. Um, I will dive into that a little bit uh, later in this vlog. Uh, this is very important as well, fleet expansion, um, and then obviously they will talk about a little bit the customer experience as I said above I think this is something very very important to know for potential customers what is it how is the whole experience why I should be there for five days what will happen in the five days what I will get and why I would should spend I don't know fifty thousand dollars for a ticket okay and then obviously here's uh, the financial strategy uh, you know they have a lot of uh, future astronauts reservations they have the reopening of the tickets they are having a lots and lots and lots of uh, you know uh, the tickets uh, you, you, you know sales uh, where they also include the revenue of the Italian Air Force which they say it's 600 K per seat equivalent, which is fantastic, guys. I really like that. And then there's some uh, little bit of financial informations. Uh, question will be, okay, how much cash they will have, but I think the cash burn will be somewhere close to 30 to $50 million, depending how much they spend on the upcoming fleet already. Okay, so this is pretty much it. It's uh, not that much of information. I hope that, you know, with the new Q2 uh, presentation, we will have much more slides much more informations and uh, what we can expect well that i will tell you in the next couple of minutes so for the flight program it's pretty much obvious what will follow next on the first of september this is the rumors is the flight of george whiteside and i actually try to contact him as you can see here on twitter he usually replies not this time. Maybe he's already in preparations. I don't know, but he is a very, very nice guy. He was one of the guys that pushed Virgin Galactic to a thousand plus employees from about, you know, 10 employees in the very beginning. Very, very experienced guy. Came from NASA. I think he was chief of staff, a very, very uh, successful CEO. But his, let's say, era 
at Virgin Galactic just came to an end and he's still the head of the Space Advisory Committee for Virgin Galactic. But other than that, he's enjoying, you know, his couple of million dollars in uh, shares that he got and he's just a very, very nice guy. Anyway, so he's on the flight plus maybe some special guests. So. People were asking me, what is the sense of the next two test flights? Well, it's PR and marketing because, you know, they have everything tested. They just want to, you know, test it again, uh, that the system is uh, well uh, prepared for commercial use and they will use the next test flight to send some very interesting people up there, okay? Then they will also have the Italian Air Force, which gives them a very interesting view and perspective on uh, commercial uh, governmental clients plus this could be a nice way to maybe introduce the first spaceport in Italy which would be a breaking news okay I think this kind of breaking news you can never expect them they can come tomorrow they can come day after tomorrow they can come in a year uh, one day they will just come out and say you know a special announcement next spaceport in Italy or in Dubai or in Abu Dhabi, you know, in my home territory in the Middle East and the stock can go 30, 40%. We saw what happened with the surprise message of getting the FAA license. This was really great day, 40% plus. It was just tremendous. So I think this is uh, the overall scenario. So next flight, 1st September, then the next flight somewhere in fall, maybe October already. And then we shall have uh, the completion of the test flight program, which is fantastic. And with that said, let's dive into the next topic. So the next topic is the stock offering. Yes, I know it's a topic that you don't like, okay? Specifically when the stock is tanking because of those news, first with the 1 billion shelf offering where they announce, you know, we will put $1 billion worth of shares to the side and we will sell it from time to time to get fresh new cash which means also dilution for us investors, which then gives a little bit pressure on the stock. And this happened also directly after the flight of Virgin Galactic's founder, Richard Branson, and this tanked the stock a little bit after the test flight, which was unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is, right? So with that said, I think we will give some great new news in the Q2 earnings and the earnings call. The analysts will ask 100% about that, okay? First question, is the $1 billion shelf offering plus the 500 million, is it like separate or is it something together okay so are they raising 1.5 billion or are they raising 1 billion okay this will be question number one that i hope get answers for and the second question what you will use it mr shamas mr richard brands mr michael coglazer those are the two questions that I really want answers for. I hope that one day I can jump on a call and ask these kind of questions. Like some people on the Tesla earnings call come, uh, this would be fantastic for retail investors like us to ask those questions. It was just one day before the quarter earnings when Virgin Galactic came out with this picture of this Mach 3 airplane that brings you from London to New York in less than 90 minutes, which would be absolutely mind-blowing. We know that many, many companies work on something like that, but we also know that we need an update for that because we didn't heard very much, very long time anything about that, which is a little bit disappointing, but I think they, they focus fully on the test flight program now. And after that, they maybe, you know, have the initial design. This is the next step, right? They have like the rough design, then they have the design and starting of the manufacturing, then they have the test flight program and so on. So it will have a very, very interesting step-by-step -step similar to our space tourism program and this will be the next big thing. I mean, if this will be released, if we get just a slight info about the point-to-point -point travel, the stock will absolute explode, guys, okay? So if this is in the, let's say, plan 
of the team and management of Virgin Galactic, then I would definitely release some kind of information about that because this will be the Amazon Web Services of uh, Virgin Galactic. This is the next big thing. This is the next big product. Even though the first product is already sold out for years and they will make billions and billions of dollars, I think that uh, you know this will be something very, very interesting. So the next big thing is actually the revenue. Okay, so we had the first payload by NASA, which was on the flight that was delayed. Okay, they finally made the flight with the payload. So this was the first $400,000 revenue that they will show us in the Q2. But there is another payload. I think actually it was two payloads in the last flight okay so the question is do we see maybe somewhere around one million dollars of fresh revenue this will be the question it highly depends on when they calculate that because if we really think about that the flight of Richard Branson was in the Q3 actually already but I don't know how the payment terms are so maybe they will put all the revenue of those two flights of the payload of NASA into the Q2 earnings this would be great because then they have the other revenue that is upcoming from the Italian Air Force and so on which is absolutely great I mean the Italian Air Force will give us a revenue of six hundred thousand dollars per seat times four if there will be four crew members of the Italian Air Force will be 2.4 million dollars and this is guys this is one of the big big revenue streams for Virgin Galactic okay even though if they have to stop for some reason the tourism part they can fly you know every now and then with the payloads and uh, this will bring in you know millions and millions and millions of revenue and uh, this multiplied by multiple spaceships even though they maybe can use the old spaceships you know maybe the spaceship one I don't know if this is even working but if this is safe to go then maybe they can put payloads over there and fly that old spaceship or even the spaceship two and the spaceship three and four used for tourism there's so many options to make lots and lots of revenue and then in a couple of years you can see that this is a very very big uh, you know kind of uh, revenue stream if you think about it, SpaceX only have or most of it is governmental revenue by NASA bringing astronauts up uh, you know flying uh, logistics flying uh, satellites and so on and so forth so and then you know Blue Origin fighting for those multi-billion dollar contracts this is the big big money guys okay so think about the tourism part as like test for flying more regular flying bigger ships in the future fly uh, orbit and so and so forth mm -hmm.